Hi, everyone. Welcome to our YEA introduction slash welcome call. Uh, we do this every Thursday, guys. And this is where you get to invite your friends, your neighbors, your community to come and find out what YEA is all about. Okay. And this is a platform where you get to say what you're up to in your life. So there are many, many people that come to this call and you never know who is sitting right next to you that may have the perfect resource to push you forward in your goals and your dreams. You never know. Um, and, and when you hear people sharing what they're up to and what they're about, look and see the question for you to ask yourself, how, how can I collaborate with that person? How can I work with that person? How can I, um, connect with them that my efforts will be doubled when you connect with somebody else, guys, and you work together, whoo, you can go so much further further and so much faster. Okay. So <clears throat> anyway, welcome everyone. Um, and um, I'm going to start with William. William. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Christy, you're not on camera, but I would love for you to just do some highlights of your trip to Africa. She just returned from Africa, guys. She's been there for, uh, I think, almost a month. Um, so Christy, can you share some highlights there for six weeks six yeah weeks. <laughs> and uh just to let you guys know i'm a permaculture educator and uh well what carol likes to say is that i'm a global, global. permaculture educator. <laughs> and you are i don't like to say it you are <laughs> yeah i am yeah did you not do a whole course over there in Africa <laughs> and then well, work with what you? What I did yes. was uh, with my coaches from YEA. Yeah. Uh, created uh, in Florida. I've been on the permaculture convergence team for over a decade now. And uh, inside of that decade, uh, I felt like I could take my skills uh, to Africa and create a convergence there. And with a team of coaches from YEA, I did do that. Yes. And um, we had an extraordinary event. Uh, one of the coaches, Hilda, was my host. She hosted me for my hostess. She hosted me for the whole six weeks. Wow. And we, uh, she's involved in an organic farmers uh, group. And we visited six farms from that group before we even went to the convergence. And each one of those farms were unique and extraordinary, each and of themselves. And uh, twice I got to present the permaculture flower to that group two different times. They allowed me to uh, share and be their guest speaker. Um, so I, I got the opportunity to be a guest speaker. I didn't, I didn't know it, that that's what I was going to get to do, but I, I did wow. get to do that. So and, did you travel uh, around Kenya? I did. I did. I visited James, who is also one of the coaches, and uh, yes. uh, the convergence is now going to be at his place next year in November. Oh. So we even have a another one that we're going to, and he promises that it'll be bigger and it, it, more global than this one. Wow. Uh, and then uh, Geneva and... Uh, Geneva and Maria came in also from YEA and uh, did some poems and uh, read some they environmental poems. That yeah. was so beautiful. It was so perfect. It, it came, they came in exactly at the perfect time in my convergence. And uh, we had people from Portugal, Uganda, uh, 
Raleigh was from Zimbabwe, who Maria had invited, and okay. he's also in yeah. team management and leadership. I'm in the team management and leadership program. One of our former coaches, uh, Lex, is now uh, in team two there, and uh, we're like together. He's introduced me to another person, and um, you know they've all come in and uh, contributed to my convergence, and it was an extraordinary experience. We had several local farmers. Uh, participate and what I didn't know about uh, Kenneth who has his mil two million trees project which is he was the host of the convergence he's right on Lake Victoria it, his property is on Lake Victoria it was just so perfect and his local community of farmers came one of the elders and he interpreted the whole time everything everyone was saying and it was just uh, eye opening for <clears throat> the local farmers wow. and then he took us to a soccer tournament where we got to sit up front the whole course got to sit up front and I got to actually present to the winning team a trophy Wow. Oh. Their trophy. <clears throat> wow. And so great. Kenneth asked the girls at the beginning, all four teams were sitting right there in front of me. And um, being a white person in Africa, I was unique just by the color of my skin. And um, it was kind of uh, for me to be that kind of honored and uh, revered was a whole new uh experience for me i don't consider myself that kind of special at all and um well i think you uh should consider yourself that that's a mindset that. honey that. that is a mindset you yeah. are special you want to get that <clears throat> are special mm. wherever you go christy magic shows up you are mm. special so i i request you give that conversation up that you're not special you thank are thank you very thank you <clears throat> and you are very special in yea very special in yea and how well, i love yea yeah. and how you share yeah. yea you 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 kind of like me sleep eat and dream yea <laughs> so <laughs> thank you christy Thank you. Yeah. That That's amazing, guys. So she got to go to Africa and deliver permaculture to many, many, many people. And convert Yeah, what I wanted to say is um, in the soccer team, the four soccer teams of girls, it's a girls soccer team. Uh, they were asked at the beginning, who wants to be a farmer? And um, like they were like, uh, you know, we're we're jocks we're athletes we you know farmers and then when they ask us to stand up each one of the participants of our convergence to stand up and introduce themselves and say where they're from you know I got up and you know so I do think I'm special okay I got up and I said so my name's Christy Abbott I'm a permaculture educator from Florida and uh is there anyone here that likes to eat food? <laughs> well, that's how you got commonality. <laughs> I love it. And I said, where does your food come from? Uh -huh. oh, yeah, farmers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so love it. You know, at the end, a couple of them said, okay, I want to be a farmer. I want to be a <laughs> chef, you know, so. So great. Really, really yeah. great. Okay, yeah. wonderful. I'll let you share more highlights. Every week you can share more highlights because I know you've got many. Um, yeah. And but those were some of the biggest ones. Yeah. Yeah. So great. Really, really great, my dear. How many people did you actually speak in front of? Do you know? 
Wow. I mean, there were uh, ones that were there physically and then you're online. How many people did you actually speak in front of? Do you know? Probably 300. Wow. So, so amazing. You really want to get that. You are special. Mm. <laughs> mm. And we all love you here. Thank you, Christy. Thank, Thank you. you, Carol. You all, guys, you all know I was supposed to go to Africa. And I got very, very ill and couldn't fly. And I found out later that I had COVID. So I couldn't have gone. Um, and Christy got to go and really be able to experience that. So I'm kind of living through her right now because I want to go to Africa. So I'm declaring once again, I will be going to Africa. I don't know when, but I will be going to Africa. I will be meeting my students face to face and not just in this little box that I see. Them it was so face. great to, to have uh, YEA <clears throat> as the connecting yeah. uh, vehicle yeah. of relatedness that we all had. Uh, yeah. James's family was massive, but that was the first 100 people was just his family. Wow. Oh my gosh. I really, yeah. Like he's it. the seventh of 12 children. Oh my goodness. Wow. And he's the seventh male okay. of 12 children. Okay. And I think he's the next to the youngest male. So, wow. uh, yeah. So that's eight yeah. boys and four girls. And, um, really great. James has in been his family been and they're, children uh, you know there were nieces and nephews mm, and yeah, um yeah yeah james to have yea be the uh thing that br brought us all together oh I, I love that totally love yeah. that what that's what networking's all about guys <laughs> all right i so got to africa because of yea that's for sure i know thank you Thank you. All right. So I want to start Jeez. having people introduce themselves. I see, I see Stephen. Stephen. Hey, Stephen, come and introduce yourself. Say who you are, what you are up to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you so much. And Stephen, you'd better be saying you're coaching in the October program. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> right. Okay, all right, all right. My name is Steven Jenga. I'm from Kenya. I am a landscape designer. I am a conservationist. I'm a botanist. I have now become an activist. <laughs> I got to visit Jenga uh while I was in Kenya oh. and visit his house and oh, he took me on this lovely, lovely walk through the leopard. Uh, I'm forest. so jealous. I'm so, it was so beautiful. Oh I hope gosh. you gave Thank him a hug Steven. for me. Did you hug people? I did. I gave oh, him several yeah, hugs. Yeah, so, yeah, sure. You know. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Okay. Jeffrey, so, too. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, really great. So, yes. So, Stephen, I did not hear that about yeah, being yeah. a coach. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay keep yeah. Going. So, what, what am I up to? Um, <laughs> one, I'm very grateful. I've been through the introduction leaders program. For the last seven months, it's been uh, a very uh, good opportunity to become a better leader. And um, we concluded our program on uh, 23rd of this month. But um, because I, I, don't, I still don't have my 15 guests that I need to be fully candidated, I am still in the program for until the 13th of September. So I still need guests. I'm looking for guests. <laughs> Um, yeah, I did my candidation, it went well, but I, I only have to meet the measures, the 15 guests. Wonderful. I yeah, want so you to I, talk to Hilda's daughter, Kimberly. Yeah, I know, I know. I, and Rashid. <laughs> and definitely Rashid. Yeah. He's um, ready. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be sending you Anita, because Anita's on ah, now. She's, thank you so much. Yep, yep. There will be people. I'll be sending. Yep. All right. Thank you so much, Carol, actually, for the support. Um, Absolutely. my candidation went well. I'm, I'm, I'm really. I've learned also to reach out. I was a person who used to do a lot for myself, not asking for help, but I have transformed that part, and uh, it's really working nicely for me. Yeah. 
Wonderful, Stephen. Thank you so much, guys. I, I want you thriving. So what do I have? What, are you the thriving? Plans I have hey, right now is, uh, Stephen, Stephen, are you thriving? What I have right now planned? Sorry? Are you thriving? Oh, he is. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. I am thriving. I am at my best place. Like, I'm living my best life right now. No. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yes. I have... Uh, I've expanded my my life and I know I have I'm taking on responsibilities that would have been been very scary for me in the past. I'm going to become an introduction leader. I'm also going to coach in the ILP and I am going to coach in YEA. I made that promise. It's happening. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, Stephen. We are looking forward to you being a coach in the October program. There will be many of these students that you will be coaching. Yes. I will yes. be happy to do that. I'm so happy and glad that uh, I'm coming back to also give back. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Stephen, so much for all that you bring to YEA and to the and to the planet, to life, because you're all about transforming people's lives. Yes. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. I want to introduce I want uh Jackie Zacoli to come on and introduce herself and tell people what you're up to. What are we doing? Go for Good it, Jackie. Question. Where do I start? <clears throat> Let's see. I don't have an hour. I don't have 45 minutes. <laughs> Anyhow, um it has to be condensed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the brief, as we say in my time, which is way longer away than yours. This is the cliff notes. <laughs> Um, anyhow, <laughs> um, oh my goodness, um, the plan is such that I am seeing that between YEA and my manifesting global solutions group, which is the global impact network, um, this entire picture of self sustainability in our world, starting with the underserved population is picking on a constant, um, well, I should say Aviola is part of that too, um, is taking on a constant um, cause and momentum. Um, I'll be starting up my Global Impact Network speakers on October 1st with um, the four pillars, the, um, the literacy, the wellness, the environment, Christy, the environment and the employment. Um, sorry, I got to make you know that. Um, so I look for speakers on Tuesdays on whichever topic it is. So then we bring around the whole groups of people involved in those topics, see what we can do to collaborate. Then on the Thursday with all of you, with the youth and some of us that aren't youth, um, uh, but involved with the youth, um, in the, those little projects, that comes around. Um, and then your, um, your podcast that you're going to have on Fridays with the women involved in all of that. Um, and so through that, the thread of it will be Abiola, who is doing the youth originated, or I guess that would be the best word for it. I'm not sure. Anyhow, um, policy experts that will bring policy into all these countries mm. to make the sustainability real, that will yeah. make them accountable to being sustainable with the resource they've been given to be self-sustainable, which is the whole key. We are not in the charity business. We are not in the charity business. Right. It's a maintaining, a teaching, a coaching for them to yeah. be able to stand on their own two feet and to teach another. Yes. And to teach another. Yes. So all of this really is starting great. to come through. And Carol and I have decided that we're going to add another piece to that mix because she's doing nearly everything I can imagine, really. We talked about it in, in her YEA. <clears throat> the only thing I'm not seeing totally clear yet, but will, is the uh, microcredit. I think that will be an integral piece 
in yeah. making sure that these youth are able to get the job that they've been educated for to literally make that and to get them that vision of, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, but I'd say 98% of you, the vision is what you've never been taught is to look and see what you can yeah. manifest. It's, yeah. it's allowing yourself that privilege to look at the future. It's okay. You don't have to worry about survival. Nope. We'll help you with that in whatever way. So it's to show you that there's a future and to be able to help you manifest it yeah. by your mindset. Yeah. So it's really brilliant. That's kind of what I'm talking about. Yes. It's so really brilliant, Jackie. Yeah, yeah, I I hear you say sustainable. And what I'd like to add to that is um we're not in a, a sustainable place on our planet just yet. We truly and what i'm practicing and teaching is regeneration so we've got to regenerate those uh, spaces first before we can even get to sustainability and so while sustainability is and has been a key word um we're just not ready yet we're not there yet yeah. and we're, um we're so regeneration <clears throat> is what uh i'm mostly uh, a proponent of and um want to uh re i guess relearn what that is um i need a speaker on that on october 15th would you like to join me in my global impact <laughs> there <network>? you go <laughs> i definitely check my calendar and let you know but you I would sure love you have to. Your contact Absolutely. information, everyone, please. Very great. Yeah. I do take yeah. role every week, believe it or not. I have my little, my little spreadsheet, but I don't <laughs> all have, I don't always have all of your emails. So please be sure that you get yeah. them in there so that we can keep communicating. Sure. Everybody, 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 when you speak, go to the chat and put your information in. Anything okay. that you are up to, any way we can connect with you, your, your WhatsApps, phone numbers, yeah. your emails, what LinkedIn, whatever we can connect to you with, please put yeah. your information in the chat so people can reach out to you. This is what this call is all about, networking, coming together, collaborating, Please, please do not miss this opportunity. And guys, I go and I look at those chats and not everybody puts their information in. Yes, and I, I and save the chats. LinkedIn, so I'm lost. Yeah, I save the chats every week and I go through and look. And we had way, way a lot of people last week and only maybe five or six put their information in. You're missing out if you do not add your information to the chat. Put your WhatsApp. Put your email, put whatever it is we can reach you by. Put it in the chat, okay? All right. <clears throat> um, I want to have, um, I saw, hold on, where did he go? Uh, uh, oh, Jay, uh, Jay, Jay, come and introduce yourself. Hi, Jay, welcome. Hello. Tell us where you're from, who invited you to YEA, and then tell us what you're up to. What are you doing in your life? And I know you're doing a lot because you've been messaging me and sharing. So please share with everyone. Yes, my name is Jay. That is uh, Jairas Metobo. That is my name. I'm from Kenya. I'm from Kenya. I'm a Kenyan citizen. And uh, I'm a student in Kisi University, but again, I'm the founder of JBM Foundation. JBM Foundation is an organization which seeks to uplift the vulnerable people in our community, mostly so children. We uplift these people through humanitarian aid by trying to afford 
for them what they cannot afford on their own. For example, we help these children afford their school fees. We renovate poor people houses. We buy food for those people who cannot afford. We just go identify one person and we do that. We try to do what we can do to make them smile. So that's what we have been doing for the last, uh, yeah, we started our organization in January this year. And though we have been experiencing a lot of challenges in terms of finance, we really try to do what we can do so that we can change these people's lives. So, so I heard about uh, YEA from Eileen Wills. She's an American. Yes. And my personal friend. She introduced me here. And of course, Geneva. Uh, Geneva is another person who has introduced me to a lot of things, including the landmark uh, program. I really want to acknowledge him. Geneva, hi, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are a good man. Everyone, we can clap for this man. It's a very good person, I tell you. It's an amazing man. We love Geneva. Yes, we do. Jane, it's now your turn. <laughs> yeah. It's now your turn. Thank you so much. So what I'm looking uh, what I'm looking forward to is uh getting my foundation, that's my organization thriving. And as a, and as a result, I want to see myself thriving too through the YEA and the landmark program. So anyone who can also want to support us, you can do that if you can though. Make sure Jay, but again, put, put your information in the chat. Anything guys that you are wanting, this is the platform where you can let people know how we can support you, what you want, what you're looking for. You've got to put it in the chat. You got to let us know. Otherwise we don't. Um, thank you, Jay. I'm putting that. I'm doing that right now. And thank you so much. Oh, Caro, you know, Caro, you're also a good person. We have been chatting with this one also. It's yes. a good, a good, a very good person. This one is. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. It has been a pleasure. So thank you so much. It's been a pleasure getting to know you. Thank you for all that you shared with me. Thank you. And okay, okay. Jay. Thank you, Rene. And yourself, please. And Jay, did you get registered for the October program? It's free to all of Africa. Please get registered. You get a coach. I did. Yes. Um, I'm already registered. I'm awesome. already registered. Really great. Really I'm great. Registered. Okay, good. Good. Good to know. All right. Thank um, thank you. And put information in so everybody can reach out to you, Jay. Okay. Um, so one of the things that Jackie did not say is, guys, we have put together um, a group around Uganda. And I want to make sure if you are in Uganda, you must join this group. This is a group that that's getting bigger. We are wanting to support and and look for resources to support what you guys are up to. But if you're in Uganda, you want to be a part of this group. And we, I will send out the invite or I'll have Jackie send out the invite um, every, weekly because we, we're meeting weekly on Wednesday. So. What are you doing in Uganda, Carol? Um, what well, aren't we doing in Uganda? What aren't we doing? <laughs> All right. We have pulled together some, some leaders in Uganda that have that that really have some resources to make some things happen so that's what we are so we're wanting people that already have some projects going um that want to be a part of it and network and um 
And well, I definitely want to create a school in Butambala and uh, an eco tour. Yeah, you need, uh, project, you need to be so. you need to be in that you need to be in that call. It's a okay. Zoom. It's a Zoom that we do on Wednesdays. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Um, we also have a South Africa group that we're working with. So, guys, uh, Jackie and I are going from country to country to country here. Um, you definitely want to find out what we're up to and what we're doing. Abiola too. Okay. Aviola, absolutely. Nigeria. Oh, yeah. We're going to be doing some amazing things in Nigeria. And I actually want to bring Aviola on. Aviola, you want to come and um, introduce yourself and say what you do and what you're up to. And what are we doing together? We're collaborating. That's for sure. Amen. Yes, thank you. Thank you, um, Caro. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's afternoon. It's evening already here in Nigeria. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. I welcome all of you to YEA. This is a place to be. It's an amazing place to be. And um, it's my honor um, to have met uh, uh, Jackie, uh, who introduced me, and that was the... Um, the most amazing thing that has ever happened to me this year, <laughs> meeting Jackie. <laughs> so she introduced me to YEA, and um, to follow that, uh, Carol has been so wonderful a person. These women deserve our applause all the time because of everything they are doing for Africa. They are so wonderful. We need more people like them on the planet, and. Um, such humanitarian and selfish motives uh, with everything they are doing. They are quite commendable. So uh, for me, I lead a regional network on youth policies called African Network of Youth Policy Ex uh, Experts, and which was um, started at the closing session of the UN Bank Global Forum on Youth Policies in Baku, Azerbaijan in 2014. AFNIP is 10 years already. Wow. And so YEA, I learned, <laughs> I guess it was that the same year, by coincidence, you know, and um, uh, we deal in youth policy development, uh, and uh, we are addressing topical issues as they concern young people, based on the World Program of Action for Youth, which was established by the United Nations, and each country uh, needs to establish youth policies for young people uh, to address um, um, challenges and opportunities, matters relating to youth. So that's what we do, you know, basically. And uh, we are open to collaborating uh, in, the, in the youth space. We have various directorates with which we implement our projects. One of them is the Directorate of Enterprise and Capacity Building that has a project called Young Africa Enterprise, YAA. Here you have YAA and uh, <laughs> Young Africa Enterprise, YAA, similarly, same letters, you know. And with this project, we'll be uh, cooperating with YAA. We've already started cooperating, you know, synergizing on different areas of possible collaboration. And uh, I, I'm so happy to get connected to all the good work that Jackie is doing as well. So we've come to form a bond and network wins anytime, any day. That is the sure pass I tell everyone and uh, it's the best thing that can happen. Uh, together, everyone achieves more, that is team. Together, everyone achieves more. So let's come together to keep doing this and see how we can uh, support one another. Carol, let me do the Carol Club. Uh, you are really doing the amazing. So I've learned everybody will do the Carol Club. This is the Carol Club. You feel like this? <laughs> so amazing, guys. Let's do this. Thank you. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> you are so funny there, Carol, Carol Clap. Um, so yes, guys, yes. I am so, so excited. I am going to be collaborating with Abiola in Nigeria, and we are going to have our first, our first YEA Learning Center. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And uh, Omo Wubi Florence is here. 
uh, who is the YEA uh, Nigerian representative. I think shortly she's going to uh, have oh. the honor to introduce herself. Absolutely, to I'm go. going to I'm going to have her introduce herself next. Awesome, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, uh, yes, please come introduce yourself. Tell us who you are and what you're up to, and um. I am going to be working with her to be a director in Nigeria for YEA. Come and share. What would you like? Thank to you very much. Hi, welcome. Hello, everyone. It's so, so nice to be here. Thank you, Abiola. Thank you, Carol. You have such a positive energy and I'm so grateful um, for meeting you this year. It's lovely. One of the greatest achievements so far. Oh, year, right? thank you. Just oh. nice all of you. Okay, my name is Womi Peters, and um, I am a tech education director, and I'm a counselor, and then a coach. So I'm um, I'm um, I'm I'm so open to working with YA. It's um, a goal that aligns with mine, and I'm looking forward to you know doing great things with mm -hmm. YA. Oh, you are going to be such a breath of fresh air for our program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Abiola, thank you. Because I asked, I tasked Abiola with find me somebody. And he said he would. And this is who we have. So welcome. Welcome, my dear. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, next person I want to have come and introduce themselves is um, Maria. Maria, hi. My sidekick. I just love and adore this woman. Uh, come and introduce yourself, Maria. Thank you so much. Hi, everybody. So I should put coach in front of my name. Yes, you <laughs> which could. I <laughs> yeah. Um, but great, great, great to be here and hear all, all these amazing things that are going on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I'm a 72 year old grandma <laughs> and uh, with a new lease of life. Every day seems to bring something new. And um, you are all inspiring me totally. And I'm privileged to be among you. And this is a tremendous growth, um, you know, mindset. It's just infectious. I'm really going to say that it's really infectious. And um, I was um, raising some money today. And there is sustainability in the offing. So I feel good about that. And um, I, I love the um, the emphasis on that. And um, I've I've had the privilege to live in Indonesia and the Philippines, and they're very deep in my heart too. And when I first started speaking to Carol, I expressed that, and she said, "Well, I'm looking for a director for other countries, and what about?" And I said, "Yep, yeah, okay, Indonesia for me." And uh, I'm excited. I'm really got my head in Africa right now, but I've got my my antennae out there for people from Indonesia too. So if anybody's listening, <laughs> um, you know, it's it's I'm global. I, I I'm just global, and really really happy to be that way. And uh, what else can I say? Oh, um, talk Carol, about your water, your water project. Yes. So yes, this please. may sound like on earth and um you've heard about landmark a little bit and what we do is we create that we can actually do things so that that whole idea of visualization we're going to um we've created the first water project is going to be around lake victoria <gasps> and we've created the following i want you to ju just imagine now how it is that it's the water is used for everything, including washing motorbikes, you know, toilet tank, every, everything, everything. And we've created that Lake Victoria will become, is, sorry, we create that it is a beautiful, pristine, freshwater lake with delicious fish, full of delicious fish. And so that is our, that is our flagship, if you like. And once I finish this sort of fundraising round that I'm doing, that's next. And I'm learning and growing and getting experience on this so that I can I can go forward. And what I'm asking all of you is that we need to make a team. 
because this is a team effort. And I did have conversations with um, Mike the night before I kind of proposed that we the, and started talking to Walter about this. And uh, so I hope very much that he will be part of it and, and others that um, maybe Edmund too, I'm sure, and others so that we really work together, you know, across countries. So yeah, let's Wonderful. do this. Wonderful. <clears throat> All right. So thank you. Thank you, Maria. Thank you for stepping up and saying I'm the one. And then looking for ways to be the one. So amazing, guys. She's got so many other things that she's doing too. So she, she just hasn't shared them all. But you'll have enough time. Next week, you can share about the Song for World Peace that you're up to and doing. Absolutely. Many different projects that she is involved in. Just know. Um, and she is somebody absolutely, Jackie, that you need to connect with. <laughs> You need to connect with her. She's in the UK, but you need to connect with her. She's very connected also. Yeah, Maria was uh, featured in my convergence yeah. uh, with Kenneth, and uh, she read one of her poems, or a couple of her poems, actually, and uh, int introduced uh, another person uh, to read from his book uh, on uh, environmental issues and it was just beautiful so maria publicly thank you for joining me and uh it was an sure honor my, my was event was honor. extraordinary yeah absolutely absolutely wonderful 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 thank guys you. okay next person i want to have come william um come and introduce yourself and tell people what you're up to and what you do and make sure you put your information in the chat so people can have it Hi, Hi, thank William. you very much. Hi, my name is William Planch from Ghana. Yeah, Yay, Jackie, I see you. And um, and I am. I talk about no human issues less. I believe every human being has a hidden talent, special talent inside of them that needs to come out for the world to see. I believe in that because I've been through a lot. When you look behind me, you see me living in the forest and then me in the UK. So I went through struggles and... The, the resilience, me not giving up, opened doors for me. And now I'm a global award winner in the UK. So I use my, my journey to inspire people, especially the students, the youth in Ghana. So I go to school and, and tell them that, hey, look, you can become anything you want to become. It's all about your mindset. You need to change your mindset and you, you just go for it and it's going to happen. Because I look nowhere near what I have right now the global recognition and all of that. So I'm all about empowerment, the youth especially, because that is where we, that is where we grow up from. And I am an author and a speaker, a public speaker. And I have this book, No Human Issues Less on Amazon. And it's my dream to build a school in Ghana. I've been able to secure a land. So I just hope to build a school for, for, for the youth. And it will be about, you know, mental health, helping them to find their real purpose inside of them. Because no, most people are not happy because they don't know what they're about. They don't know their purpose. They don't know what, what they're supposed to do. They are just jumping on anything just like that. And they, 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 they end up unhappy. So I try to help people to find their real purpose. What, what brings them joy? And it's not all about money. So that is what I'm about. And I'm happy to be introduced here by Jack Jackie. And I'm also in talks with Genevia. We have something coming up and I hope it's going to be amazing. And also Maria, amazing woman. We've been talking lately and then, you know, I hope something comes up too as well. And I'm glad to be here. Thank you. And William, I want to re I'm going to be reaching out to you because I want to talk to you about my youth empowerment program that starts in October. I want you to be a part of that. So yeah, strongly want to be a part of that. Okay. Yeah. And you definitely need to meet, re reach out to Mike, my Africa director. He's in Ghana. Yeah. Have you have you been able to reach out to him? No, I've not. I've, no, oh not. my goodness, you've got but last to. last week. Last week I saw him here. Yes. I was finding means of reaching out to him, but yeah. I didn't have any contact yet. I will so send. You can let you, me have it. I'll send you his info, William. Okay. Thank yeah. you. 
I'll, uh, in my in our WhatsApp with you and I, I'll send you his info so you can reach out to him. Really great because he's working. He works with a foundation there in Ghana. He's the president of the foundation. So you guys definitely want to get together. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Awesome. Okay. Geneva, come and introduce yourself. All right. Um, be besides being my BFF. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm Uncle Geneva. That, that's what everyone calls me. And uh, I'm the director of YEA in the UK. And uh, I, I run a, uh, another organization called Global Gathering of Champions. And then Global Gathering of Champions, we've got three pillars. The first pillar is establishing relatedness. And the second pillar is personal empowerment. And the third pillar is business development. And then um, in personal development, we encourage our participants to get involved in YEA and in Landmark. And uh, in business development, we we work with people actually to, in any business, you could be hairdressing or you could be bakery, you could be uh, a charitable organization. You, you, me, I'm mainly um, involved in in online business building because that's that, that's my career. I've been a lecturer in British universities in computers for 20 years. I've worked for the United Nations in computers. Now I'm retired. I think I'm the oldest person in the group. And I'm I'm helping a lot of young people to to to, to really to get financial freedom through them setting up their online businesses. Mm -hmm. And uh, in this group, I've got people like uh, Chiros, who are starting this journey, we've got Sarah, uh, we've got William. William is brilliant, like he, he's decided to be my secretary. <laughs> so now I've got a secretary, Carol. <laughs> of course I've you do. A, I've, I've got another organization called um, Online Workers Initiative. And Online Workers Initiative, we request organizations to donate laptops. And uh, Carol and Maria, they are directors in this group. And basically, uh, we, with the laptops which get donated, we'll send them to charities or churches, mainly in Africa, to get their people trained on how to um, generate income online. Yes. So, and uh, I've got lots of projects, it's incredible. I've got projects in cryptocurrency, We've got a, 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 a currency that will be, uh, what do you call it, accredited on the 3rd of December. It's called Future Talks Coin. It, it, it will be like the same as Bitcoin, stuff like that. And uh, we, we, we've got another project. Um, Carol is involved in this project, and Maria. Um, uh, 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 this week, we're supposed to finish your website called Global Gathering of Champions family songs for peace. Yeah. So this, so we're finishing the website, me and Carol this, this week. And then basically we, we'll have sing, uh, songs in different languages sung by kids. Yes. And then we decided that we're gonna include poetry because Maria is passionate around poetry. Ah. So so we, we're gonna, the intention of the song is to have kids um, sing to the United Nations, mm. sing to global gathering, of, uh, to, to sing uh, to Britain has got talent, America has got talent, uh, G7, Briggs, and they're like, they, 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 we, want, they, they so, we want kids love the song so that in Putin's house, the kids will be singing the song about peace in Putin's house, in, in leaders' houses. So, homes because like what what i discovered was like uh, the adults they're not listening to each other they are keep threatening us about third world war but if their kids could be singing songs for peace in their homes <laughs> i think they will start listening that's the intention and they were unstoppable hmm. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. And if we can get some of those songs onto some big YouTube channels, woo, yes, yes, it'll go out all over everywhere. So that's that's what we're up to, guys. We're up to getting uh, kids from all different cultures singing these songs for world peace. And um, Geneva's written songs. I've written songs. I think Maria's written songs. So you guys got to check it out. As soon as the website is up, you'll be able to go and, and hear them all. Very, very cool. Yeah, this, right. is, this is not just an agenda for Geneva, Carol, and Maria. It's, it's for all of us. All of it, us. If you need a contribution, this is for all of us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Geneva. Thank you so much. And I want to really just acknowledge you because, you know, we're now in 50 countries. We're about to go into 51 because we're about to bring on Colombia. Um, but we're in 50 countries right now, guys. Students from 50 different countries have participated with YEA now. And a big amount of that is Christy Abbott and Geneva. Christy has brought a lot of people from, from Africa countries into YEA, and Geneva has just expanded us into Poland and uh, so many different countries, guys. I can't even name them all, but I've got them all on this board with little pin push, <laughs> pin pushed um, on, in every country. I'm, we are in so many different places, and Geneva has opened that door for a lot of different countries to come and know YEA. So get ready for an amazing October program. Guys, it's gonna be so many different cultures that are participating. And right now we have 59 new registrations for the October program. Now that's not including all of our coaches, which we have about 20 or 25 coaches. We have head coaches, we have facilitators. Guys, we're gonna have over a hundred people in this program. You must be a part of this program. And if you have not registered, I put the registration link in the chat. Please go and register. I must know how many are going to be there, okay? We also have our YEA Youth Empowerment Program, and it's going to start in October also. I think it's going to start a week before the, the main program, the global program, okay? So the Youth Empowerment Program is always on Sundays. It's always early, <laughs> but uh, we have so many youth that are going to be participating in that. So please, please connect with me so I can get all the information to you. The youth do not have to register, okay? They don't have to register. I don't really have a registration process for them because a lot of them don't have uh, cell phones or, or laptops to be able to participate that way. But we will be having a youth empowerment program. And then um, in early January, we're going to start a women's empowerment program. I'm so, so excited. And we're starting a podcast called Women Empowered Across the World in the end of September. So, so excited. So, so excited for all the different things that are happening with YEA. And they couldn't happen without you guys sharing with so many people about who we are and what we do and what we're up to and how we empower people to number one, have a thriving mindset and not live from a limited mindset. And number two, to believe they deserve to thrive, not survive and struggle. Okay. Okay. That's what our program's all about. And it's 10 weeks, guys, and it's online. And we also have what you call learning hubs because there are many people in the villages that don't have internet. So we invite them to find a building, bring 20 or 30 or 40 of, their, of the people into that building. And then we put up four chairs in front of the device, one device, a laptop or a cell phone doesn't matter. And we put four chairs, we call them share chairs. And when they raise their hands in the room, I have them come forward, they sit in a chair and they share, they get the program too. do not let the internet be an 
obstacle or a, a, a challenge. We figured it out. <laughs> Invite them. All you have to do is have a location that you can bring a lot of people together. Okay. Uh, in the last youth empowerment program, we had 30 people in one room. We had 20 in another. We had 15 in another. We had over 100 students in the last youth empowerment program, guys. This is amazing what happens when you can come up with a solution for the problem. And guys, we don't even call them problems anymore. You know what we call them? <laughs> opportunities. <laughs> Problems are now opportunities. That's a mindset. A mindset is a problem. And we have a certain thing around when you have a problem, what you do with it. So we create a different mindset. It's an opportunity. Now it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to figure out how to make it work. Because YEA is all about workability. One of the things you're going to learn in our course, guys, is we do not talk about right and wrong. What we talk about is what works and what doesn't work in your life. Right and wrong has a judgment to it, a pointing finger to it, a shame. Right and uh, um, what works and what doesn't work isn't personal. It just didn't work. Let's try something else. So just get ready for an amazing experience, an amazing cultural experience in October. October 17th is when we start our new program. It's still early. So please invite, keep inviting every week to this call, new people. We can handle it. You bring them, we'll take care of them. Okay. All right. So I want to now, um, Patty, I know you might be driving and, but I'd love for you to introduce yourself if you are able. Hi, Patty. <laughs> unmute, unmute. Say hi to everyone. Hi, I, everyone. You, you are driving. It. I see it. Okay. So, so just um, say just something real short about yourself. Yeah. And then next week we can have you come and actually really introduce yourself. You know what? Um, yeah. Just give me a second. I'm pulling over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, don't want, I don't want an accident. I know. Um, we don't want you in one. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, wow. The energy in this meeting is. Yeah. I, I was like, oh, I'm so busy. I have so many things to do. This meeting is every week for the next month. I'll just hop on an, another one, another day. And I thought, no, no, I want to be at the meeting. I want to hear what's going on with Carol. Because Carol has so much energy. And and I went from here to here, you know, just listening to you guys, all of you guys and what you're up to and what you're creating. I'm just blown away and in tears because I want to be a part of this. Yes. Welcome. And Patty, you want to get with Jackie because Jackie, Jackie is very connected and what you're up to and what you're doing, you want to get with Jackie. So, Jackie? You, okay. Jackie. All right. So, so, uh, everybody so far, you know, that shared that spoke and what you're creating is just like, huh. it blows me away. It blows me away. And yeah. And I just love the conversation that you guys are in, you know, mm -hmm. for, for what you're, for creating, you know, and problems are not problems, they're opportunities. And if, if I woke up every day like that, you know, can we just have this meeting every morning before I start my day, you know? All right, I'll shut up. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. Thank you. And Patty, next week, come so that you can really share what you're up to. You're up to I'm going to hang out things. with you guys. Yes. And, you're up and to I'm, some big I, I want to invite the principal at the school where I'm helping, you know, I'm coaching an, uh, some young men that have an orphanage in Jinja. And I want to invite the principal of that school. I think that this, he would be amazing in this group. Yes. And yeah. I think he'd be yeah. a great candidate to do the forum too. So yeah. uh, between now and next week, I'm going to invite that man and try mm -hmm. to get here. Okay. 
Wonderful. Thank you, Patty. Thank you right. so much. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, I see our other Jackie. Jackie. Um, and I want to at least have you introduce yourself. So next week, they'll know who you are. Um, so Jackie, will you come and introduce yourself? Jackie Campbell. And how we are going to go into Columbia. <laughs> You're muted. There Good you afternoon. Are. Good afternoon, everybody. It's really great to be here. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about the impact that we're going to have in the use of the world. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to be taking this in Spanglish to, to um, Colombia. Yeah. <laughs> and empowering the youth and the team. They're really excited. They're speaking with, with the young people as we speak. Oh. To I so love it. I so, so love it. And Jackie, I need to get you with the other Jackie Zicoli, um, because we, the, she has people from uh, South America that she's working with. Uh, you've got to connect with her. So okay. where is, are you at in Colombia, Jackie? She's not well, in I'm, in <laughs> I'm in France. I live in France, but I've got a team out there. So, um, oh, okay. We, I have a cousin we, that lives near Kotecki. Oh, whereabouts is that? Is that closer to Bogota or? It is. To... Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm, we're set up in Bogota and also in Cartagena. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cartagena is more on the coast, but uh, Bogota is just north of the, well, where Kotecki is, is north of Bogota. So, yeah. You think they run be... a resort there and oh, uh, the wonderful. people from Bogota come up over the weekends and hang out with their families. So that's okay. another place I did visit. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. So Jackie, will you talk a little bit about your foundation? Um, yeah. yeah. So um, I started a foundation after this. It was, it was, it was a horrible way to start, but after the suicide of my brother, I saw that there wasn't enough support for our young people around their mental health and well-being. So since then, and for the past for the past fifteen years, we've set up an organisation in his name. So it's Julian Campbell. So mm -hmm. you'd have seen me come on as Julian Campbell Foundation. Yeah. Then I changed myself to my name, and we we provide early intervention for our children and young people. And especially since the pandemic, you know, our young people have got more level, higher levels of stress, anxiety, depression. And since the pandemic, we've grown international. Before then, we were we were working in 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 the UK. So that's when we started working in Colombia and Florida. Yeah. So yeah. Jackie and Jackie got to get together. You yes, two have please. to get together. Yeah. Thanks, we Carol. A wellness piece that you know you would fit right into so we want jack you two to connect i'll make sure you guys get connected um really thank you jackie and guys jackie and i have a surprise for you next week you cannot miss next week we're going to do an exercise that we actually do in the yea program so you can get a sense of what we do in this 10-week program and jackie's going to lead it I'm so excited. So, so excited. So thank you, Jackie, for taking that on. I oh, love it. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you, Carol. Yes, absolutely. Thanks. So do not miss next week because we are going to give you a sense of what it looks like as one of our exercises we do every week in the program because we want you to know how to do it for yourself but she's going to teach you it next week. So very, very exciting. And I've not ever done that on this kind of a call. It's always been in the classrooms. So we're going to do this next week and you're going to see what we, what we do and how we work with students one-on-one -on -one in the classroom. Beautiful. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your leadership. All right. Um, I have somebody else that I want to introduce. Kenneth, Kenneth, come and say hi to everyone and introduce yourself. And then I see Sarah and then we'll probably end for the day. What an amazing call so far. Oh my gosh. And I want you to know, guys, I offer the platform, but the amazing- Hilda's here too. Yes, I see Hilda. Thank you. And we'll have Hilda come and share. I offer this platform 
Guys, that's not the amazingness. The, I can offer this platform, but the amazingness comes from you guys because of your lives, what you're up to and what you do and what you're willing to share with everyone. That's what brings, makes this call so amazing every week. And the connections, connect with one another. How, how? How can you can how can you collaborate with anyone in here? Look and see. Oh, you've heard all the different things that they're up to. How can you collaborate and take your efforts further and faster? Okay. All right. Um, yeah, go ahead, Kenneth. Come and introduce yourself and share. By the way, I just want to say he is entrepreneur extraordinaire, and you're gonna hear it. Go ahead, Kenneth. Thank you, Carol, and uh, the rest of the team. I'm called Kenneth from Kenya, and uh, I have been involved in several projects. Why here is my home uh, ever since I was a child. I've grown here to become uh, where I am today because of these beautiful places you see today, standing on the shoulder of the giants. Thank you so much, and. Uh, Actually, I would like just to take you a little bit about what has just happened in Kenya. It was a first of its kind from a culture uh, convergence, first of its kind. Imagine these uh, people breaking the ice for the first time. And uh, it was full of challenges, I must tell you. And uh, you know, the Christy, the person that you see, uh, I don't know what year she's eating, but uh, that, that lady is uh, a lion. Despite all the challenges that we faced, we still made it. And at the end of the convergence, I will tell you that Christy just said, we did it. And they, in fact, we did it, despite the so many challenges. One of the things that really made us, uh, 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 some, I mean, the mountain, the first mountain that came, you know, when you are getting towards uh, achieving a good thing, there must be so many corners and so many stones laid on your path so that just to make you stronger. Remember, the challenges that we see are just to make you stronger and to make you uh, to uh, bring out the lion that uh, is in you. So that is what made us to be. Now in Africa, we are called the lions. Yeah. And the lioness, you see Christy about, you see Hilda, you see Kenneth, you see so many people. These people are great people. I must tell you, the first challenge was we were expecting Carol, then Carol became sick. We were expecting uh, 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 Maria, uh, I mean, the Geneva, uh, Christy to go through the uh, uh, UK to pick some laptop to meet Maria and Geneva. That, that thing never went through. Imagine those challenges. The first on, on uh, the first on, uh, I mean, when we started, then if we were just uh, people who give up very easily, people without any mindset or focus, then we would have uh, uh, given up this uh, and uh, the convergence. But we stick to the rules, always have a positive mindset. We focus, we realize that we cannot let it go until we achieve it. And then we came to the convergence. The, a month before the convergence, it rained heavily and it destroyed all my farm. And part of my home was like uh, under the water, the Lake Victoria Solar. And uh, I must tell you, when I saw that, I said, these are the, uh, there must be uh, something positive behind it. This convergence must go on. And then on that, the day that Christy was coming, then they, <laughs> I mean, the, the direction that uh, I gave to them, the, their phone went off, I could not contact them. Then that alone was also showing us that there is this beautiful thing that is coming out. There must be a struggle in order to achieve it. Then I must tell you, I lost Christy and Hilda. I have to uh, ride on my motorbike throughout the night just to find these beautiful ladies so that to see that uh, the convergence must, <laughs> must take place. And then boom, when we came to my, my, my place, I must tell you, there were quite a lot of challenges. 
We were expecting Maria Bucha to support some of the villagers, then that thing never happened. We were expecting some laptops from Geneva, that thing never happened. But we never gave up. Oh. Christy will tell you, when we met together, we always shared tears. Not tears of, uh, because of the challenges that we were there, mm -hmm. but the tears that we are going to make it. The positive mindset that uh, we were taught in Hawaii, wow. we maintain it, we focus, and then we did the first of its kind from a culture convergence, and it was a success. And everybody, it was like Maria was there to give us that, that beautiful uh, I mean, uh, lecture and the information. She also brought another person who also inspired us a lot. And you see the Christie brought all this information from uh, US and all the experiences and all my villagers were so happy. And now we have Hilda with Rabi. We have James there with the soil. I was there with the uh, amazing tropical forest. Then you know the funny thing, some people also came and say, where are those 790 trees that you are talking about? In this your home, you can only see one, two, three trees. Then I was telling them, my good friend, you cannot plant 790 trees in one place. You have to distribute so that each and every one benefit. And now you see all these things were just making us to be to grow stronger wow. so that uh, we are called the champion of the world. Thank you so much. I really love you guys. I must appreciate what you have done to uh, my wow. life and to the entire world. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. Guys, I want Thank you, to Kenneth. I'm telling you, it was challenge after challenge after challenge. And became opportunity after opportunity. I love it. So Kenneth it was an extraordinary, perfect event. It yeah. it was wonderful. I got video to prove it. Yeah, yeah. And just think next year it'll even be better because now you've done it. Now you know how to tweak and, and have it be way, way better even. And I won't be sick and hopefully be able to participate. Yes. So um and can and for everyone that doesn't know, Kenneth, um, he has a campaign, guys. And the campaign, please, Kenneth, put your information in the chat so people can reach out to you. I uh, I have planted trees in my mom's name. Rest in peace, mom. But I have planted trees in my mom's name through his campaign all over Africa. <laughs> so my mom's spirit lives in Africa. Um, and so, guys, Kenneth... His campaign is to plant 2 million trees all over Africa. And he has planted over 795,000 trees now. I want you to get the, the enormity of that. 795,000 trees. He's all over East Africa, not just in one country. Yeah. He, he's been to Uganda. He's been to Rwanda. He's yeah. been to uh, Tanzania. He all, all over. over East Africa. All over, and he's creating a uh, tree, a uh, food forest, and and trees along the roads. So and native people... trees, not yeah. just uh, food trees for us, but fruit trees for the birds, the bees, the for you know. The native indigenous beings that were there long before humanity. <laughs> so amazing. So, so, so amazing. So make sure, Kenneth, because I'm sure now people know they can donate um, and and have trees in people's names. Um, they will be reaching out to you. So please put your information in the chat. Thank you. All right. Um, and Hilda made Hilda sure I got there. She yes. uh, and her brother drove me uh, all the way from Nairobi to Saya County. And, um, wow, you know, I, she, I got to stay with Hilda for six weeks. And, I know. Um, I'm so jealous. So I'm so, so jealous. Okay. So, Hilda, I want you to come anyway. and please, please introduce yourself and just say some highlights of having our head coach, our special <laughs> head coach, Christy, with you for six weeks. Whoa. Hi, Hilda. Are you there? Hilda. 
Are you there, Hilda? Oh, oh, I know. If she isn't, maybe I can get her to speak next week. Um, okay. Because we are getting to the end here, and I want to just go over the seven. Well, she does have a gift for you, so I've got to get. Okay. Uh, I've I've carried something home for you. So. Oh, oh, so amazing. Okay, uh, Jay, yes, go ahead and um, share. You got your hand up. Hi, Jay. Oh, you're muted. There you go. Hello. Yeah, I was saying. Hey guys, I was saying uh, initially my name was, you saw Jay, but uh, my official name is Jay Raz Metobo. I think I said that. My official name Area. is Jay Raz Metobo, but I go by the name Jay Boss okay. Metobo. That is my nickname. Okay. <laughs> just, just a nickname. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Are Did you find people you're going to connect to, Jay? I left my I left my information in the chat section. Good. And did you find people I, that you want to connect to after hearing their stories? Yeah, I think yeah. I'm going to connect with them, most of you, including yourself. Absolutely. Well, you and I are already connected and we will be doing some work together for sure. I'm so excited. So the, the information that I left on the chat, uh, come, uh, the section, I really expect all of you to contact me. I need to know all of you. Really great. Really, really great. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Um, thank you. Yes. Thank you for joining us today. Hilda, are you there? I want to give you one more chance to share if you are and she may not be. Okay. All right. So Hilda, you will be next week. I want everybody knowing who Hilda is. For for people, I just want to share with you around Hilda, guys. Hilda has been in this program now for over two years. She came as a student, then became a coach, then became a coach, then became a coach. <laughs> so she has been in this program for a long time with us now. And she is somebody that is a trainer and a teacher. She teaches rabbit farming. She teaches beekeeping. She teaches so many things, permaculture. She teaches uh, what is the gardens that go up the wall? <laughs> I'm like, what is it? Come on, Christy, what are they called? Vertical gardens, vertical, vertical gardens. gardens. Oh my God, she's got the most beautiful vertical gardens. Um, She teaches so many things to so many people and she delivers water to her community. She's done so many amazing things. So I really want you to- And I got to see, oh. you know, she toured me to all three of her properties and I yeah. got to see, uh, you know, all the work that she's- yeah doing for our communities oh. and you know she's in groups of organic farmers and she took me to many of their farms and mm. um you know i oh. it was just an extraordinary experience being with her and in her world so wonderful really. yeah i really appreciate thank her you so much. Hilda. and then her students were you, you know she brought in some amazing students, she, uh, Josephine and James and mm -hmm. Stephen, Jenga. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just they're extraordinary all human in beings. This program. So. They're all leaders in YEA. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Hilda, for who you are for our planet, how you make a difference. Thank you. Anyway, all right, so guys, I'm just going to go really quickly over the seven pillars, and it is what we teach in YEA, and then we're going to end the call today, but I want to thank everyone for coming and sharing and utilizing this platform in a way that it can make a difference for a lot of people, okay? But how you make that difference is you connect with the people there in the chat, go to the chat, make sure you save that chat before I close out so you can have that chat. You can have all their information. And if you are on a cell phone and can't save the chat, you got to reach out to me because I save it. And all I have to do is copy and paste it into our WhatsApp, yours and my WhatsApp. I'm not going to put it out in the big WhatsApps because it's information that 225 people may not want to have so i will offer to send it to you though okay 
All right. So guys, we teach the seven pillars and the seven pillars are this mindset. I used to say it's a big deal. I don't anymore. I say it's the biggest deal because we have a mindset about everything, everything, guys. I can tell you, and I'm going to prove something to you. So um, let's see. I'm going to say exercise. And you have a negative mindset about it. <laughs> I promise you, you have something that is limited and negative about exercise. And yet we have good things about exercise, but we can go to immediately a limited mindset about exercise. Everything in our lives, we have a limited mindset that's just kind of automatic, always there. So it's the biggest deal. Because our mindset, if you hang out in that limited mindset, you won't get it done. You won't be an action taker in that area of your life. I promise you, it steals your goals and your dreams. So it's the biggest deal. Next one is focus. We say what you focus on is what you get. Number three is declaration, declare, declare. That's what you're doing on here. You're telling people what you're up to. You're declaring what you're up to. And people then can open doors for you. They can go, I've got a resource for you. I want to introduce you to somebody. It's how we've gone into 50 countries. Because I declared four years ago that I wanted to go global. My knees shook when I declared it, but now we are. So guys, if YEA, little YEA that came out of my mind in 2014, if little YEA can become global, anything you do can be big if you want it to be. If you take it on in our course and you take it on inside your speaking so more people can be involved in it. And I loved Maria that you shared, I wanna create a team around what you're up to because it will take you further than you doing it on your own. Don't be that lone, lone wolf guys. So we say, declare it and make it so. It's one of the most powerful tools you can have. And I teach it in YEA. Every week, you'll be declaring. Mm -hmm. And then the next one is um, visualization. Guys, if you can't visualize five months from now what your project looks like, what your business looks like, whatever it is you're taking on, you're committed to looks like, good luck. If you can't visualize it two years from now or five years from now, you have no, we call it the blueprint to your future because it shows the actions to take. When you can visualize, you can start seeing the actions you need to take to get there. So it's a blueprint to your future. You must learn how to visualize and we teach you how to do it wonderfully. Next one is accountability slash imperfect action. Guys, accountability, got to be a, your word to yourself and to others. And it's the hardest to be your word to, uh, to yourself. To others, a little easier because people are watching you. And if you declare something, people are watching to see if you're going to do it. But accountability is about being oh, your word to yourself and to others. And it's all we have. We have. Our reputation is built on what we speak. Okay. And then slash imperfect action. Guys, I was not getting anything done. And so I was like, Carol, you've got to start doing some imperfect actions here. And I started doing imperfect action and I, my life changed. And it changed pretty much overnight because I started taking things on, even though they weren't perfect. And then once you create the action, you can start tweaking it and perfecting it along the way. But until you actually take the action, you don't even have a way to make it better. Okay. And then creativity. And guys, creativity actually came to me only about a year and a half ago um, when one of my students said, Carol, where is creativity as a pillar? And I said, oh, it's not. She said, you need to add that. I said, yes, like yesterday. So I created a second edition to my book and added creativity into it and put it in as a pillar. Guys, creativity is your, your greatness being witnessed. 
you take your greatness out of your head and you put it out there for people to experience and for you to experience. That's what creativity is all about. Okay. And by the way, I always ask this question and I'm going to keep putting it out there. Guys, what is the richest place in, on, on this planet? What is the richest place on this planet? And I know a lot of you know it, but guys, it's the cemeteries. Do you know why? Because so many people's greatness died with them. So many people's great ideas died with them before they made them happen. That's why it's the richest place on the planet. Our cemeteries are buried with amazing greatness and ideas. Never be, they'll never be shared. They'll never be experienced. Can you imagine if a uh, Benjamin Franklin uh, died with electricity, <laughs> died with that, and did not create it? Can you imagine some of the things that have been created on in this world that if they had died with that person, we wouldn't have had them? Guys, the internet, Zoom, all these things have been created. If they had died with them, we wouldn't have them. So, so please, please share your greatness and you will be in the course, okay? And then the last one and not the least is community because it's the glue that holds everything together. And guys, this is one of the most amazing communities I've ever experienced in my life. And I'm in lots of communities, but this is one of the most amazing communities I've ever experienced since because you guys bring your heart your soul, you bring it all and lay it out in our programs. And I so thank you for that. I thank you for how you have the community be the glue of this program. So that is our seven pillars. Please, if you have not registered, please get registered for the October program. I love you guys. I want to thank everyone that came today. Please bring more, more people next week. Go out and talk to people and tell people about this program, about this community. Please share it with people. That's how we move forward. Please share. Um, and, and guys, we can have as many as possible be in that October program. So don't worry about that. I'll manage that, okay? You just go out and share. Share what you've learned here and share that there is a platform like this that people can come and share their goals and their dreams and connect with other people and network with other people, okay? All right. Uh, does anybody have anything they want to say before we end? And we are at 1230. So does anybody have anything they want to say or, or share? No? Okay. Thank you so much once again for an amazing call. I will see you guys soon. Bye, everyone. Oh, and um, Abiola, you stay on. And um, and your, um, I, what is her first name? I see Peters. What is, how do you say her first name? <laughs> Abiola, how do you say your, um, my, my director's first name? I can't say her name. Omni oh, no, me. Oh, no, me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, but no. you, can, you can call her Florence. Florence. I think that's much easier Florence. to Okay, Florence. easier for me. Okay, Florence. Okay, you two stay on. The rest of you, I will see you guys next week. And Hilda, we will have you come and share next week, okay? All the highlights of having Christy as your guest. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. All right, let me stop the recording.